Hey everybody! Welcome to Gardenish. I'm glad you're here. And if you've never been here before, welcome. If you have been here before, I'm glad you're back. And yeah, let's do a let's do a project today. It's been a minute since I've done an actual today's the day and when I'm releasing this, it's close to that day video because we've been busy with the holidays so we are in the first week of january still here in beautiful missouri and it just snowed two days ago and obviously behind me you can tell that everything is gone uh it was very wet snow but it's very pretty and it is definitely what we needed to keep us uh realizing that it is winter time so what i want to do today uh my compost bucket which actually let me show you here that bucket right there that bucket is what i use for any of my house scraps uh, eggshells coffee grounds veggie scraps that kind of stuff i don't have chickens to throw them over to so um, i decided to start me a compost bucket well my compost bucket is getting pretty full and it's so full now that between i can't add anything else to it so i want to make a makeshift compact compost bin today we're gonna use pallets because I'm a pallet gardener and I have tons of pallets all the time and that's gonna be an easy way to do it um, just gonna take some t-posts take a couple few pallets and I'm gonna start throwing everything into there and I can just scoop it around with a rake and a shovel to keep it moving and keep it uh, de you know degrading like it's supposed to to turn into good compost for us so I don't know if it's gonna be really ready for this spring just because I got a late start to the giant bin of it but what I'm gonna do is put it in the same spot that I had already had a lot of uh, my leftover soil. When I moved my pallet garden from one area of the yard over to the side lot where you see it now, um, I, I had a big pile of soil that was left over. And I ended up throwing in there some old tomatoes and we had a little flower garden, you know, some wildflowers that I threw in there. So kept the pollinators happy and I figured critters would go to that pile versus going into my garden and they did uh, they never touched my garden last year so that was a cool thing I'm hoping that this will maybe spark some ideas for anyone that's wanting to do this um, whether they do it this way or come up with another way that works out a little bit better for them for their location and their situation that's what I'm doing this for hopefully it works out for us uh, I think it will be um, so let's go ahead and let's get started on this um, We'll just, I'm just gonna, it's gonna be a lot of video, not a lot of talking, just because I wanna get this done um, because it's chilly. It's like 30, I don't know, 36 degrees, something like that. So, next year. So, let's get this going and let's see what happens. Okay, over here, I've got what I call my bonker. It's the T post driver. I've got three, I think they're seven foot T posts, just because that's what we have on hand on the, lay down yard of our side lot i call it the lay down yard because everything accumulates in sections over there there's my bucket of compostable materials this is the space where we are going to put this compost area and then this is the giant pile which actually it's not so giant anymore i wish it was um this is where i've got to dig through and see what i've got and I'm going to use whatever we can and have this makeshift compost pile. It's going to be something that the critters can't necessarily get totally into, big critters at least. And uh, it'll just be a space for, space for this to go. Let's see what we got. Got what we need. Let's check it out. These are the three I picked out. They're very similar, which is gonna make this super easy. We're basically just gonna make two sides and a back. And then, sorry, I'm out of breath. I know I need to start working out. This is ridiculous. Um, so these three are very similar. And with that tight of a slat, 
I wouldn't be using these for garden anyway. They would be for some kind of fencing anyway. So it works out really good that these were what we had. They're perfect. So yeah, let's get these uh, tea posts in the ground. That's gonna be a workout too, yuck. Oh, by the way, you're gonna see me struggle a little bit here. I have a wrist that is getting better from basically getting older injury. I don't know what I did. I reached for the towel wrong getting out of the shower and completely jacked my wrist up. So I'm trying to baby it, but it's kind of tough to do when I do this kind of thing. So I could ask Nick for help. I'm just gonna take it easy. He's inside doing his own thing in the shop. So if I need him, I'll holler. So don't mind the struggles. If you get older, welcome to the club. Well, we're all gonna get older, so welcome to the club. At least when you get there, welcome to the club. Okay, posts are up. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you understand that I don't like to measure. I do it by my eyeballs. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. We'll see how this one works. All right, here's what we got so far. The clamps that you just saw this video, the clamps did not work um, just because of the way this thing is set up. The dimensions of these pallets did not let the clamps work that we had on hand. So instead of digging for other ones, my lovely neck just put bricks underneath there to prop it up so I can screw these sides together. So I'm just gonna add screws in here and then this side will get screwed to that side and then we'll have our three-sided bin. So far, so good. I like it. So now that this thing is partially up, I'm sitting on a bucket inside of it thinking if this was a little bit bigger, I could have my own little sanctuary here or my own little potty box. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to finish this up and uh, do a couple more things. We got our screws in so everything is stable and I'm going to put bricks along the front edge. I'm going to dig those in just so they are 
um, a barrier for if it does rain like a son of a gun, we don't lose all of our good things out of it, all of our good soil. So, uh, yeah, this is where it's at. Not too shabby. Not too shabby for a quick cold afternoon project. I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I'm glad we got this done today. All right, let me start digging and let's get this finished up and then we'll kind of throw some ideas out about a door situation. FYI, I totally should have dug it out the other way because then my dirt would be going right into my compost bin. Now I got a whole pile of dirt on the front side that I'm gonna have to scoop over and put in, but that's okay. We now have a wall. So that's gonna help save some of our, any kind of liquid, any kind of material from coming out since we are on a hill right here. So I may have to raise this up as the pile gets bigger, but for now this is gonna work. And then we're gonna have a door on there eventually. So. I think this will be okay for now. All right, so this first layer needs to be potting soil, twigs, mulch, anything that's gonna promote air circulation. So I'm kind of roughing up the ground. I'm gonna go throw some more, I've got some twigs and some different, uh, different material that I can put down as a base layer. And then I'm gonna throw on some food scraps and then some leaves also. So that's pretty much the layering process is your browns and your greens. You just need to have both included so they will make the compost uh, they will make the the items turn into compost they all work together and eventually i'll throw some worms in here and i mean we'll get some worms from the ground i'm sure but i'm going to throw some worms in here just to help speed up that process that decomposition process uh, but for right now i need to make a base layer for good air circulation so that's what we're doing All right, here's my layer, my base layer. Twigs, fluffed up the dirt. That's what we're using for this base. These are actually um, the dead material that was overgrown on our side lot. Just gonna keep that there for now. We're gonna put our green and brown material next, which is going to be grass clippings. They have to be clean grass, not grass that's been treated with anything. Um, also any kind of yard you know yard waste that kind of thing can go next and what's included in that is your food scraps so i'm going to throw my bucket that's already been pre-composting i'm going to throw that into that mix next so here's my bit bucket here's my food bucket remember fruits veggies be very careful when you uh do something like this you don't want too much citrus going in it i know the acid can be really bad uh for the compost uh process so we've got eggshells we've got lots of veggies lots of eggshells uh vegetables eggshells i'm sorry coffee grounds i even include the coffee filter with my grounds just because it's a paper material it's unbleached um, it's not going to hurt anything it's just going to break down and add to the process so anything that can be broke down naturally can go into here and like i said be very cautious with citrus you don't want too much citrus it'll mess with the ph of the soil and i think it um, what it does is it, it allows the process to not not work as well so be cautious with that but onions i have celery in here that kind of stuff and then next i'm going to spread this out and then we're going to put i've got some old grass clippings i'm going to mix into it and we'll we'll cover with that for now Oh. 
so it looks like a majority of what's left in this container I've got it used to be full of grass clippings they have all decomposed and what's left are the wood chips that we had that I had filled up in there so that's fine we'll just cover it with that anything organic anything that's gonna break down naturally can go in here and that's what I'm trying to prevent is some of the food inside can come out here when we're throwing it out um, and uh, yeah hopefully we get a good a good base layer started and this will be a great black gold situation for our garden in the years coming so now the biggest thing i have to keep doing with this is keep a shovel out here and or a rake and just rotate it uh, every time I come out and I throw something in I'm gonna rotate it and just keep it aerated keep the soil from going anaerobic which means no air you want it aerobic that's what's gonna keep it alive and keep the process of decomposition going so from here on out it's just a matter of a little muscle and uh, a lot of people that have big compost piles, they use tractors, you know, you can't do that stuff by hand. But this one's small enough, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. So we'll see how it goes and watch the progress. Okay, there we go. The next final layer that I need to do is it wants leaves, like wet leaves or wet cardboard, wet paper material to go on top. I don't have any of that right now. I may have some cardboard that I can wet down but I should have had it soaking. Um, what I'll probably do is I just leave this as is for now. Um, maybe put some cardboard on top of it because I still have some kitchen scraps inside that I need to bring out. Uh, throw some cardboard on there. Uh, if I can find some wet leaves, I will, but that's gonna be tough now because we did a lot of our blowing and burning earlier in the season. Um, so for today, the next project is put a door on this bad boy. I'm thinking about just a pallet, uh, one of those short pallets, connecting those, making it long enough to swing out, and then putting some uh, some galvanized metal in between there, so that way nothing can get through them because they're it's wide slatted. So when I make that, I'll show you a video. Hopefully it works. It's just going to be a hinge, like a hinged barn door, kind of not not fancy, but something that's going to keep the critters out. And uh, yeah, I think we did all right. This is a good video today. The sun is starting to set. It's still chilly out here, but we're good. Uh, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna lay a pallet up against it for tonight to keep things out. And I know the cats will snag whatever might be over here. Woody's a good, a good hunter. So is, Dookie's pretty good too, but he just can't get it in any fights. But Woody'll, Woody'll get the heck out of something that's here. So. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for being here for this video. My battery's about dead, and it's about time to go uh, go watch some high school girls hockey. So I get to go do that on, on this beautiful, chilly Sunday evening. And uh, looking forward to that. I appreciate y'all. Make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe to it so you can see more and keep uh, having more cool projects like this. And my biggest goal here is to maybe spark an idea, like I said earlier, spark an idea that's going to help you in your situation and your scenario. So give me comments if there's anything you would have done differently or anything that you would like to see done. Let me know and we'll try to make it happen, Captain. All right, everyone have a good day. Thanks. Bye.